The next comedian comes to us from Sanford, Florida, originally. Put your hands together for comedian Loose Cannon right here, everybody. And Loose Cannon! <laughs> I'm sorry to cut, I noticed that Jim, I'm sorry to cut y'all for early. How y'all doing tonight, Orlando Improv? But let me tell you, this ain't my first time at the Improv, and I love being at the Improv, but y'all make me excited to be here every single time. Y'all look good, clap it up for yourself, clap it up for yourself. Those of you that done seen me before, you already know how I get down. Comedy is a different line of work for me, and I'm trying to get good at it, so I quit my night job. All right, so listen up, because I ain't come here for no foolishness, all right? I ain't scared of you thumb suckers, all right? Let's get this established right now. You can either laugh at these jokes, or I can start the night shift in the parking lot. I already got a case to play. Some of y'all, you got a very nice watch on there, ma'am. I know the right pawn shop to take it to if you ain't laughing at these jokes, all right? I've been seeing a lot of good, interesting questions on Facebook. The other day, I saw a woman, she asked this question. If your car, if, if your ex was a car, brother man, what kind of car would they be? And I put some serious thought into this thing. And I couldn't really quite figure out what make and model she would be. I just know she would be a used car because I sure would put some miles on her. <laughs> I was taking road trips with this thing, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, but don't be, don't worry, I ain't no shame in my game. I got some miles on me too. I'm a certified pre-owned, all right? Cause I, I feel like this, grown cars got miles on them, all right? If you over 30 and you ain't got no miles, you either a vintage car that's never been driven or you had one owner with multiple cars. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a woman the other day, she was on Facebook and she asked this question. She said, how do you know if your man is not getting enough sex? And fellas, I have an answer for this, <laughs> all right? Ladies, here's how you know if your man is not getting enough sex. If he's breathing. <laughs> Guess what? He ain't getting enough. If y'all cuddling in the bed together, you put your head on his chest and there's a heartbeat there. Guess what? He ain't getting enough sex. <laughs> if you look him in his eyes and he blink, guess what? <laughs> he ain't getting enough sex. <laughs> I was playing cards the other day with this gentleman I had never met before. And he uh, got so excited about how well we were winning, he looked at me and said something that was so stupid, it made sense. I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you before, but this gentleman looked at me, he said, Woo, partner, you played good, boy. That was sweet like bear coochie. I said, hold on, brother. What you just said? He looked at me like it was something wrong with me. He was like, sweet like bear coochie. You ain't never heard anybody say that before. I said, no, nah, but let me ask you this. How you know Bear Coochie is sweet? Have you ever sampled a bear and lived to tell about it? He say, no, I know Bear Coochie is sweet because bears eat honey. Who would have thought? That was so dumb, it was actually intelligent. So it got me thinking. If it worked for bears, how many of y'all women using honey on them pancakes at the house? I want to talk to you after the show. <laughs> I actually feel sorry for bears because there's a lot of deforestation going on and there's a lot of wealthy people building like affluent neighborhoods in the forest or right next to, like man I see you, or right next to the forest, all right? And what these people don't realize is you can't serve a bear an eviction note. A bear can't read the eviction note, all right? So the poor bear is getting kicked out and people get mad at the bear when they build the house. The bear watches them build the house. And the bear, like any good neighbor, wants to welcome them to the neighborhood. <laughs> and they get upset with the bear. But let me tell you who I really feel sorry for. I feel sorry for black and brown bears. The other day I was watching TV and a brown bear got tranquilized for stealing picnic baskets. And there was no picnic basket in sight. <laughs> Early this morning I was watching the news and they had a black bear on the ground with his paws out. And can you believe the forest ranger shot him anyway? That's jacked up. That would have never happened if he was a polar bear. <laughs> Can you imagine if a polar bear got shot, there would be protests and picket signs? Peter would have had a fit. The NAABB is picking up the case and they're seeking justice. The National Association of Advancement of Black Bears. Ladies and gentlemen, find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook as Comedian Loose Cannon. Y'all been a wonderful crowd. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.
Loose Cannon right there, everybody. Clap it up for comedian Loose Cannon sticking to his time. <laughs>